The IRS requires all U.S. citizens, residents, aliens, and other U.S. taxpayers to file a tax return each year, no matter where in the world they are located. This means international taxpayers who were born, have lived, or are living in the U.S. must file each year. The only way you don't have to file is if you wouldn't have to file anyway, that is, your income is too low. The point is being outside the country or earning income overseas does not in any way take away any requirement to file. In fact, there are additional reporting requirements incredibly common to international filers that can have huge consequences if not handled correctly. In this video, we will examine the most common foreign international tax issues and dispel as many myths as possible. So a brief summary of international taxpayers and returns. The U.S. taxes your worldwide income no matter where it is earned. You can normally reduce the amount of U.S. tax you need to pay by using various exclusions and deductions. You may have additional reporting requirements besides a standard federal income tax return. By yourself or with the help of a tax professional, you will need to file your return at the right address or e-file correctly. If you live in the U.S., your tax deadline is on or around April 15th. If you live overseas, however, you typically get an additional two months. You need to file a return by June 15th, or if you have requested an extension, you typically have until October 15th to file. A permissive extension for expats to on or around December 15th is also available. Note that if you owe tax on the previous tax return, you will be charged a late payment and penalties and interest after June 15th if you live overseas, April 15th if you live in the U.S. All tax returns must be converted to U.S. dollars. The IRS only accepts tax returns in other forms that are submitted with U.S. dollar amounts. You must convert your local currency to U.S. dollars using a standard exchange rate. Typically, you use the up-to-date exchange rate when you receive, pay, or accrue an item or complete a transaction. The IRS does not have an official exchange rate, but they will generally accept any standard exchange rate that is applied consistently. Your return will need a social security number or a tax identification number. All tax returns are required to have a unique number that you will reference on your returns. If you have a social security number, then you can use that. If you are not able to get a social security number, you can apply for an individual taxpayer identification number by completing IRS Form W-7, an application for IRS individual taxpayer identification number. You may be able to claim foreign income exclusions, foreign tax credits, or foreign housing exclusions or deductions. The IRS allows international taxpayers to deduct or exclude certain amounts of income provided they can pass certain residency tests. The types of exclusions and deductions include the foreign housing exclusion or deduction, the foreign income exclusion, and the foreign tax credit, which is typically available for those who live in the U.S. as well. These credits, deductions, and exclusions can substantially reduce or eliminate your U.S. tax liability. Yet, just because your net U.S. tax liability may be zero or you may even be issued a refund, that alone does not eliminate your duty to file a tax return. There are additional reporting requirements for international taxpayers. Depending on the value of certain assets, you may also be required to file an FBAR known as FinCEN Form 114, FATCA Form 8938, along with a possible Form 3520A, Form 3520 for a foreign pension, a possible Form 8621 for foreign mutual funds, and possible litany of forms for owning an interest in an international business, which may be local to you. What are the payment options for U.S. taxes? The IRS allows you to pay U.S. taxes using several different methods. The Electronic Federal pay Tax Payment Systems, that's EFTPS. You also can use a service if you have a U.S. bank account. Federal Tax Collection Service, you can make a wire transfer to pay your U.S. taxes, to make a check or money order. Payment should be made to U.S. Treasury and be sure to include your tax ID number and the year for which the payment is to be applied. You also can pay using a debit or credit card. Note that some of these payments may incur an additional fee. It would be nice if we could earn points for paying huge tax bills with a credit card, but yeah, they make us pay the merchant fees, so that's not gonna help out too much, is it? So what are your biggest questions? You can leave them in the comments below or follow the links to Iris Medic for more help. And be sure to subscribe to our channel if learning about the intriguing unpleasantness of the U.S. tax code is your thing. This is Anthony Parent of Iris Medic, and I thank you for watching.